So if you're looking for a job in Central Florida teaching, there are some things that you should know about teaching in Orange County as opposed to teaching in Osceola County. Hello everyone, welcome to Learning with Law. Today we're going to talk about the differences between working in Orange County Public Schools and working in Osceola County Public Schools. I'm going to address some of the differences and talk about my experience this year and how my new job is going so far and kind of get into those differences to talk about um, the pros and cons of working at both counties. Um, the first two years that I moved down to Florida, I worked at OCPS, which is Orange County Public Schools, and then I decided to quit teaching. Um, I actually have a video all about that that didn't go exactly as planned. Uh, I will link it here for you as well as down below in the description. So if you want to check that out, you can. Kind of put my principal on blast a little bit um, and spilled the tea. So if you want to check that out, that's available to you. I decided to move to another county, uh, Osceola County, and I am teaching at a high school there as a co-teacher. And I talk about that as well in that video. So I did get to see some differences. Uh, the year is not over yet, but we are nearing the end. Um, and the first major difference I would have to say is their onboarding process. In Orange County, they give you two days of orientation. The second day, you're setting up uh, your ID badge, you're taking a picture, you're going through the drug testing process, and you're getting fingerprinted. That's all happening on their site, which is downtown. And Osceola County is totally different. You have to do it all on your own. You're expected to do that within the first two weeks of being hired by Osceola County. They will give you a list of places that you can go to for your fingerprinting and for your drug testing, but that is on you to set up the appointments, follow through, and pay for everything. I mean, Orange County too, you have to pay, but everything is kind of set up for you and they walk you through the process. Uh, Osceola County, same thing for your ID badge. You're literally submitting a picture of yourself to the school, uh, the principal secretary, and she will submit that picture for you um, so you get your ID badge. So it's a little bit different than OCPS. I feel like OCPS kind of has their stuff together a little bit more, and it really helps to alleviate some of the stress, especially if you're a new year teacher. That's just one of the major differences. Another one is the school calendar. We have some days in Osceola County that are different days off than Orange County, and that's to be expected with different counties. In Osceola County, we have something called Rodeo Day, which is <laughs> exactly what you would expect it to be, and we have off on that day. Orange County does not. Another difference teaching in Osceola County and Orange County is the pay scale. So we actually recently just increased the pay for starting teachers to $47,500. And that actually happened last year in Orange County, and it took about a year for that to happen here in Osceola County. And in Orange County, if you have your master's degree, which I do, you get an additional $3,342. But here in Osceola County, you only get an additional $2,900. So there's definitely a pay discrepancy between the two counties. And if you look at their steps as well, you're going to see, you know, you, you get different pay raises and things like that. And depending on whether you're effective or highly effective will also indicate your salary increase as well as your bonus for the end of the year. I'm going to link all of that information down in the description below so you can check it out and kind of look at it with a more critical eye because it is very confusing and it's just a little overwhelming, especially for a first year teacher. I've been teaching for 13 years, but again, it's very, very different than New York. I'm leaving that all in the description below. And if you have any questions, I'm also gonna link my email so you can reach out to me. If I can be of any help to you, please let me know. Along with there being a discrepancy in salary, there's also a discrepancy on how often you get paid. So at OCPS, I got paid every other Wednesday, so bi-weekly, it's beautiful. But here in Osceola County, we get paid twice a month. Yes, you heard that correctly, twice a month. So on the 15th of every month and on the 30th of every month. And sometimes if there's 31 days, we get paid on the 31st. So I could go through the month and have two and a half weeks where I don't get paid. So 
definitely something that you need to take into consideration if you're choosing to work in Osceola County. Another difference is the health insurance. Now, depending on the county that you select, the insurance will definitely change. If you are just selecting health insurance for yourself as an individual, the county will most likely pay for it um, and it'll be free for you. But then you might not get the quality health insurance that you want or deserve. So there are other options in both counties for you to pay a little bit more and get better insurance. I know that I'm still looking for um, doctors that I like within Osceola County. I think that based on my experience with two years being in OCPS, I just personally liked the insurance a little bit better there as opposed to Osceola County, um, but that's really just your own preference. I think I'm gonna up my insurance and pay a little bit more next year so that I can get um, better quality health insurance. I'm gonna link all of that down below as well. I'm telling you right now that Osceola County is the most confusing health insurance policies. I'll link that down below, and I might even make a video going into depth explaining what all of these categories mean because it can be overwhelming and confusing for people that you know are new to this county so that'll be linked below as well as ocps so you can check that out based on everything i've talked about a lot of you might be wondering so why are you working in osceola county because it seems like there are a lot more negatives as opposed to positives when it comes to the county as a whole and working here honestly I have to say that the school that I worked in for two years in OCPS was good. It, I wouldn't say anything necessarily terrible and horrible about that school, but moving to this county and being in the school that I am in currently, I'm really, really enjoying the school here. I love the administration and the position that I have, I think is better than the position I had last year. I am a co-teacher. I'm working with two wonderful teachers a couple sections in 10th grade and a couple sections in 12th grade so i like that i'm able to kind of see two different styles of teaching two different age groups and i really really enjoy working in this particular building i am in a high school and i was in high school two years prior to to this year but i will say it comes down to where are you most happy working I think that the building and the people that you're with really will dictate whether you like your job or not, regardless of the county's rules itself. I really think it makes a major impact on whether you like your job or not. I will say that I am traveling a little bit further to my job, about a half hour commute, and I'm paying more in tolls. But again, I, I wouldn't go back to the school that I was in last year. I'm keeping my options open for next year. I did say that I was going to return to this school. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm definitely open to new opportunities, but right now I am happy where I am. So in thinking about the schools that you wanna be working at, I also created another video and I'll link that here showing you how to get a job quick as a teacher in Florida and I list different ways that you can go about researching the schools that you could potentially want to work for. So definitely check out that video. It has a lot of valuable information. So please, please, please make sure that you're doing all of these things that I did and you will find the job that's right for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to hit that like button if you got any information out of this video and you would like to see more content. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I create a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy teaching.